I collected, I know it has been quite some time, many, many, many reasons. First and foremost is because I listen to the spirit and I'm in a place of self-honor and the twin flame journey of my own right now. So, you know, if they say wait, I wait. If they say go, I go, or so I try. I try my best to listen. If they say guide this person, you know, I do a lot of work in person and um, I feel like I'm kind of at the end of that road before I get a break. And I've been called today to go ahead and do some tarot. So I'm just gonna jump through as many signs as I can. My energy gets very tapped with just doing my own. But I'm here for you guys. I need you guys to understand um, a couple things here. I channel, like I said, um, I follow. I follow energy. So I may drag a card over here or over there, kind of like a Ouija board. Um, but I will get to the story as I can, as fast as I can for you, wrap it up as I can. Ultimately, like I said, I listen to spirit. I give you what they want me to give you. I have actually done a lot of reads that I haven't even posted. Um, if you know anything about Aquarius, they say we're a bit ahead of our time. So um, maybe, you know, I don't know. I'm coming up with information that uh, y'all aren't privy to, privy to, excuse me. Um, but yeah, so we'll get started. I wanted to give you guys that update. I'm going to let you guys see the board a little bit better, and uh, we'll take it from there. I'm going to pull from the astrology deck um, and take who's next one at a time. I'll be right back with you. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and get started. I did want to mention, please like, share, and subscribe. I could really, really use the support. Um, this channel's um, just beginning in the sense of I haven't done many videos that I've been able to post, but... Um, I could use the support. Also, you can find me on Venmo at ValleyCat at AquariumLove777. ValleyCat, V-A-L-L-E-Y space K-A-T. And also, you can check out my movement for the people where all lives matter, but it did start behind Black Lives Matter um, and all the protests and everything that were going on in my hometown, Portland, Oregon. Okay, this next read is going to be so interesting because I just saw two logs. I saw one the other day right on this property, which is not mine. Um, and it came by at this, this unreal moment. And it just now, one flew this way, and I went to find it. And then another flew mm, somewhat, I don't know, about... 20 feet away, maybe 15 feet away. And then the other one leaves. What that means, I don't know. But I know that the hawk um, and this animal spirit guide deck that I use um, signifies like being thrown in the fire. So I feel like maybe whoever I'm about to read for, you and someone very important to you, you both are thrown into the fire at a crossroads because they cross the paths somewhat cross. I try to serenade the one and it is stubborn as ever and it would be the one over here which would be your person's side. So let me see who's next. This is very interesting. Let's see how this plays out. All right. They did this for Aries. They just started to read before I even know who it was for. And they're all face down. Oh, so interesting. Okay. Okay, that's a bit much here. We gotta pick, we gotta pick one sign. So I guess, oh, what they're doing is, they're clarifying this. Are they just clarifying this for Libra? Okay, so this is clarified for Libra. And it looks, is this seasonal? Okay, so I'm gonna plug this in for Libra at the end of the video. Um, Libra, so in late fall, it looks like this might be your circumstance here. Both of you thrown into the fire a little bit, okay? Um, and then, yeah, we'll see how you guys come up out of that. Then moving forward here, we got two signs. So who are we going with right now? So we're gonna go with Capricorn, but this is also going for Aquarius, okay? So we're gonna do Capricorn's read. You're up next, but this is also for Aquarius. Um, with these hawks 
Um, there was an indication here of journey. It's just the journey, okay? Oh, uh, it looks like pleasures. Pleasures on whose part? Okay, for Capricorn, pleasures on whose part? Their person. Is that the same for Aquarius? Okay, so, and it's lying on the person's side. Duh. Okay, so, something to do with the pleasures of the, of your, your individuals. And both y'all, you've been thrown through the fire. You guys are at crossroads. Um, it is not uh, significant. This looks like current energy right now for you guys. All right, so we're going to move on here to Capricorn in case you guys were, were wondering. Capricorn, Aquarius. All right. Okay, Aquarius, I had to throw the hair up, put some shorts on. You see that sun is blazing, so it looks like your sunny day is here, which is quite interesting because as of this morning, I knew that I can't be here, which is my friend's um, work trade, then sleeping in his truck, just getting bounced around, living in my self-honor, and getting jobs taken from me. But, you know, that's what the universe does. It pushes us where we need to go, and I'm definitely being pushed elsewhere um so i'm gonna take those happenings as blessings as unfair and as uncool they are aquarius and i know you know this people don't get us they don't understand how we are how we think they think they got it understood and they really don't but i'm here for you to tell you that i know but you already know that so your sunny day is more than over your shoulder it's fucking on your neck on your back all around you it's hot so we'll get into this reading and see what's good <laughs> because as of this morning, I don't know where I'm sleeping tonight, <laughs> to be honest. I just know that I need to migrate even maybe out of this whole entire area and go like an hour away. So wish me well on my journey as I, I stay um, present with self-honor and not uh, succumbing to uh, things that would make life more pleasurable or so I would think. Um, or luxurious as far as my living and my stability have gone under a lot of scrutiny. I'm sure a lot of you have. So let's get going. Right here, past, right here, present, moving into the near future, more distant future. I use this board kind of like a Ouija board, but it's my map. So I, I, I follow the spirits. First and foremost, always follow the energy of the spirits. So if they take a card over here or over here, it's just to, to complete telling the story, what I may have missed, or just to make it complete without using another deck. So um, we're going with you because you guys were ne next after Capricorn when I laid everything out and those hawks flew by and, and we saw that. <laughs> I mean, you didn't see it, sorry. Maybe you did, you know, because we're connected like that. But we have been thrown into the fire. I've been thrown into the fire. I still got a great attitude. Keep your vibration high and let's go. Spirits, what deck are we gonna start with? They're gonna start with the astrology deck. Well, all right. Now get your manifestation on with that uh, moon coming on November 4th. Release and manifest. Manifest your butt off. Where are we going with this? Where are we going? Oh, this is like directed to us, huh? Achievements. I love it. <laughs> then let me put it down on the, on the board because what? Achievements are in our hand. That sounds really, really, really great. Do you want to rest it on the board just for... Okay, let's put it to the side. It's in our hand. Great. We're going anywhere else with this deck. Yes. Oof. Popping up all kinds of astrology, astrology from the past and moving to the current. All right. Are we done with this deck for now? No. Okay. Cool. Your person side. For those of you uh, that don't know or didn't, I missed it earlier. This is your, where you're unified with someone. Most likely a lover, most likely a twin flame, because I've been told to do the twin flame reads, probably because I am going through the twin flame journey. Right now, I've been through it, still hanging on. Much power to uh, those of you that are still holding on, because <laughs> stuff is real, right? Um, holding that balance for your union, I'm sure of it. Reaching out kindness and patience despite the scrutiny. Um, so good job. Uh, I do want to start telling the story now, Spirit. Okay. Wow, um, I haven't normally had this many astrology cards and right off the bat, but it makes sense why, because we are universally, universally aligned. And the sooner people just trust in that, the better off we'll all be. So <laughs> this is very interesting. 
it takes it takes a loop here okay um interesting that they rested achievements on your person's side like they in the past were your achievements so maybe because you realize that they were your twin flame and you came into contact with that um, over here, we have the oh, restriction, restriction in the achievements. Yes, with your person in the past, definitely. I'm still restricted. Like, y'all, the patience and love I've shown. And I was actually called a psycho, y'all. A psycho. Believe that? That drew the line for me. Being called a psycho, told it. Um, she don't even like girls and all this shit. That, that excuse my language, but, um, yeah, it was hurtful. I got over it. Um, I gave them the option to stop texting me with all this stuff and just call or show up in my face. Because the reality is, if this twin flame thing turns around, I'm not going to believe them and their friendship for nothing, even if it's just a friendship. I'm not going to believe it for nothing unless they're actually in my face with some real apologies and some real truth. So I bet that's where you're all at too. So where are we going here? All right, in the union, it looks like in the past healing. Yeah. And then over here, we got Virgo, which is steadfast, but it's in reverse. So your person was not steadfast about the healing. Okay, and then here we have with spirituality. So it looks like the union in the past needed healing in spirituality. The spirituality card is in reverse. Um, I, 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 I feel like if I'm speaking for me, I'm speaking for you guys. And this is definitely something I wanted to provide. And we just couldn't make it happen. Um, my twin flame doesn't believe in these gifts, this tarot. Um, none of it. None of me spiritually healing. Um, even though I changed the whole vibration in her freaking country. Yes, she's from another fucking country. We have language barriers. I have went to this country for her. And for this movement, I started as a collective thing to help her and help many while I was there energetically. And it was so discarded. <laughs> but here we are. So if that happened to you, I feel your pain. I feel your pain. And so now here I'm back in Hawaii carrying on. So you guys are probably in separation carrying on your Aquarius, so you carry on. If someone doesn't step to the plate, you're moving on. So where are we going? This Virgo, it's looking like, hmm, I don't know about that. They, so yes, they're not steadfast about perseverance, uh, but it did flip it around. So it seems like in, is this current? No, is this near future? Okay, so we're flipping around. It, it's possible in the near future, but it doesn't even feel like a promise at all um coming over here what we got it looks like well no in the near future there's expansion um within relationships but why is it in reverse why was it in reverse okay so it was okay they're dragging it over here so there's expansion with the union interesting um oh due to reflection okay got it so expansion and reflection Within the, within the relationship of the union. Well, shit, that's great. All right, um, moving up here, what do we have? It looks like this individual is planning something, okay? Something now, they're planning something now for the future, but it seems, it's, they're saying near future and almost currently. Oh, okay. All right, they're going over here. Let's see what's good. Well, this just got interesting to say. It. Ooh, and it's, so, it's like all on me, like burning my rear and everything. Them hot shirt. That's what they said. We was getting thrown into the fire. Oh, yeah. Okay, I see what this is. Boom, reflection on. Are we done with this one yet? No. I already see it, an injustice in a, with a seven of cups. So it looks like with options and debaucheries is what they have. No doubt in the top because this is a, a bit of an oracle deck as well. Are we done with this uh, deck for now? Okay. Where do we want to start? Virgo is in a big cycle. Whoa. Okay. Got it. A big, 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 big cycle. It does. Per they do persevere. 
Okay, what are we saying over here? With the reflection of options. So they probably treated you like an option. They had probably several. Um, and it was an injustice to you. And they're saying the relationship of the union. But it looks like it, it turns into justice here soon for you. That's interesting. With them. Okay. And what, what do you want with this? So it looks like on your side, so we had Ten of Pentacles in reverse. So it looks like your money, which I know mine did, uh, and still is, um, it is through a rough patch. Um, but it's there. And behind it, they have the Prince of, Princess of Wands. You know, after the princess is the queen, and the queen's very confident um, here. So it looks like, you know, you're pressing ahead here for your Ten of Pentacles and you shall have it. And it is connected to the union, so maybe somehow your finances are affecting how this person feels watching all this across um, with your union. Looks like they're exploring options probably for stability, all right? Which is unfortunate, but that's part of the journey, you know? If somebody can't like lay with you in dirt and you treat them like the world and then still wake up and be happy, you know, you guys have nothing, then not for you. And that goes for both sides. But the thing is, Aquarius, <laughs> you're going to get your pinnacles. You just don't know it. Because it's their test. It's a test on whether they will strive ahead for love or material. Are, are they willing to risk being penniless with someone great like yourself are we done with this deck for now okay are we ready to tell a story okay what deck is next what deck is next which one okay twin flame so it is a twin flame journey okay here we go what you got to say man interesting that's a good thing or not <laughs> i'll get to it here in just a minute you know for us they just really be going off they put all the stuff for confirmation in the past uh maybe you guys are having some doubt you know but uh are we done with this stuff cards are face down so they don't want me to see it right yet i'll get there I just don't want me to get distracted. What, where does this go? Where? Where? Right here? Where? Okay. Hmm. Ooh, did the break? Ooh, okay. I'm gonna let, let that lay where it's at. There's some sort, set, some sort of breakthrough that's gonna come through here. Um, are we done with this deck for right now? Okay. Or you want to pull more cards before I get to town store? No. Where are we going to start? Okay, so the healing. In the past, looks like there was an inner communication, energy surge or communication? Both. <laughs> they put, okay. So they want me to flip around. Looks like there, there would be communication and an energy surge and then not. And I know I can attest for that because it's like, Mine wants to talk through text, right? Not, you know, what I find to be a coward's way of communicating. So it's like I gotta pour it all out in some freaking text. Maybe come off like the psycho. Um, but they're very inconsistent in the communication. It was like bread crumbing, seriously. Um, looks like it was derived from old wounds on their side. That, that was the issue with the communication. Okay, that's interesting. Um, mind you, this is, it was showing past, but shh. Hmm. So it looks like, hmm. So what we got here in their past was Knight of Swords, Three of Wands in reverse, a uh, King of Pentacles, um, and Six of Wands in reverse. That's quite interesting. That's gonna take me a minute. Talk, talk to me. Talk to me. Okay. So is that lack of success? Lack of success. Okay, because of 
is this representation of them. Now, some king of pentacles in their life, huh. they're moving it out. So there's stability left. So lack and success of their stability with somebody that was a king of pentacles. And, okay, were they waiting on this person? They weren't waiting on them. So the person left. Okay, and then that put them into a place of awaiting results that you're still awaiting on. We'll, we'll get more to that later. Well, what about it? Oh, they were awaiting for, oh shit. You? They're not of sorts to come rushing in after them uh, or for them. Hmm. But what I'm showing is that currently that that's what you've wanted. In the past, um, it looks like when you all met, you you guys started off on a good note. You guys were both after the union, but not really talking about it. That's interesting. Okay, and then there was a tower. Towers could be good or bad. Um, it wasn't so bad. Let's see what that was about. <laughs> it was unstable. So it looks like, at least on your side, Aquarius, this, this thing that you had come into, um, probably didn't understand, like I didn't, didn't realize, like, holy, I mean, I didn't know what a twin flame was at the time. So it looks like um, it was a bit of a tower in your life because it was like, you probably one day were looking like, you know, didn't have room or space, you probably just came out of something really messed up and then now here's this person and you're feeling this weird connection but you're not really looking for nobody so you're not really understanding um what these feelings are about um but you're feeling drawn and you're feeling closeness and but it was unstable their their actions probably were very confusing and very unstable and not knowing what the twin flame journey was about so what's this hold on Oh, uh, looks like, so there was like no reconciliation to the union that you guys didn't even know about um, existed, but it looks like, you know, there there was the cycles of, of reconciliation, it's just cycles of it and towers, real towers because of the instability. Okay, putting it together, um, receive what? Was that lack of receiving? Yeah just not in a, in a place to receive what was unstable. Okay, where are we going? Okay, with their options. Steadfast with their options of debauchery, okay? Where are we going from there? Reflection though, so now we're moving to the current and, and your future, use your discernment. Um, it looks like with the union, your person is either still hung up, trying to see new perspectives, or they do. Are they seeing new perspectives? No, they're, they're in hangman status though. Okay, interesting. So they're in hangman status right now still, and they're in a place that um, they're planning. Planning, uh, oh, a message. So it looks like in the near future, there's a breakthrough, Page of Cups, a message of love. That's so interesting. Bear with me. Hmm. I'm looking at this astrology deck because I am not seeing calm drawing for a minute. But this looks really important and I don't see it in there. Okay, so which one are you saying? Oh, hello, hello. Okay, so sharing. Sharing what? Okay, sharing what? Sharing results, results with. Oh, communicating old wounds, okay. Yo, 
You know what I mean? They, they have a lot going on to them, but there's a breakthrough. That's the important part. Am I missing something here? Okay, what else do we want to say? All right. So restriction, restriction, where are we going? Okay. Okay, is that seasonal? Okay, no. So, okay, wait. Is that seasonal? The restriction. Okay, so in the reconciliation is what they're talking about. There's still right now restriction in this whole re reconciliation. Got it, where are we going with this? Communication or energy surge? Communication, where are we going after that? Okay, so it looks like, oh, you, your person is coming in steadfast with some communication because there's a breakthrough, ace of swords. Is that gonna be in truth? Mm, a little bit. In clarity? Uh, still wavering. You guys gonna share that information, what this breakthrough is about? Uh, yeah, they, some things they just don't want us to know yet. We'll see if it comes out in the cards. But it's gonna be a tower for you is what they're saying. Oh, shit. A, a bigger tower. All right. Okay. <laughs> they got a tower too. Divine intervention on their side. So I don't know. They're not stepping up to the plate. The divine's gonna take care of that ass. You know. All right. Uh, where are we going from here? All right. Yeah. It looks like you're gonna get justice with your soil uh, contract, which is this twin flame. Um, you might be giving it to yourself though. Because I'm not seeing it in the union. Um, with the page of pentacles. Here it's concrete ideas. Um, is this justice? Oh, and it's in line with divine intervention. So it will be given to you. Um, we want to clarify that more here. Where are we going? Interesting. I've done a few reads, of course. So you know. Ours already come with a lot, so energy's a little tight, but I'm, I'm going strong. I still got this, otherwise I would stop if I felt like I was going to do an inaccurate read. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> Dang. They got a lot attached to this breakthrough. Is this in the deck? Got it. Okay. Well, where are we telling a story? Hmm. Okay, we got Wheel of Fortune. Missed opportunity in reverse. So maybe they really did, did spill some things over about their self-sabotage, Nine of Swords, um, and Nightmares. Is it both? Which one is it? Both. So, looks like they've been having some nightmares um, about, they may have not thought you were a missed opportunity. Maybe they're rethinking that now. Okay, that's attached to your breakthrough right along with where we going. Oh, okay. Two of Swords, um, still me. <laughs> and, and it's like kind of in reverse, kind of not. We got over, yeah. And still made about a passionate adventure. Okay. And, and who is that with? What is that with you? Okay. Still made about passionate adventure with you. Why? Because they had the Seven of Cups. They've been out here running around with other people. I'm sure of it. Probably had you in a third party. Um, but it looks like Queen of Cups steps in and they get some, you know, intuitive hits or whatnot. They've got time to do some self-reflection, bring in um, their heart chakra. And it looks like that's the breakthrough right there. And where else are we going with this? Back to the deck. Okay. Ooh, but that Wheel of Fortune. Do you see that? That card? If that catches on fire, ooh, I'm just going to leave it see if it does. But that will of fortune is yet to be turned. So they probably got to conquer this um, nine of swords, um, the self-sabotage, you know. Oh, message of love. So maybe because they're not giving the message of love, so they're self-sabotaging. Because you know it's Aquarius, you know. We play around too long. And they keep stabbing us. We only have so much patience. We got patience to everybody, especially the ones we love and to, the, to a fault, you know. But as we step into self-honoring, you know, that's what I encourage and I say keep it up. All right, anything else from this deck? Dang. They got all kinds. Oof. All right. So, yeah, they do show here the Six of Cups. 
Um, looks like, and it's touching um, here, the Four of Pentacles and the Eight of Wands and the Star card. So communication, movement. I'm guessing you guys did what I did. And you guys made that reunion happen. Maybe went to another country, another state. Tried to reconcile this whatever it is, even in friendship, and it wasn't honored. That's why it's all on your side, not the union. We move over here. Twin flame cards. <laughs> I mean, the cards don't lie, you know. Um, lovers, you know, it's right here in the past. It was right there, you know. Um, and you got work in progress. <laughs> Work in progress. Oh, I've been seeing that so much. And ooh, that is a hard one to deal with. Because if you like me, you've been getting a whole lot and waiting for someone to come fill your cup too. You've been throwing theirs and everybody else's. And they're sitting here chastising you. Looks like though there is a wish fulfillment right here with the chariot. So somebody's charging ahead. They're talking about your person. So they're saying temperance on your side. Oh. And there will be a tower. Well, she's okay. The wish fulfillment is yet to come. Wow. And we will pull this <laughs> Ace of Wands, a spark in the future. Didn't burn, didn't catch fire and burn. Just a spark. I think I'm going to leave it there. That's in your union. There's some divine intervention here in the future that leads a spark to this union. So I like it. I love it for you, Aquarius. Um, may you guys continue to uh, go through your spiritual growth, continue with your self honor, no matter what anybody says, because that's part of the journey. It's part of the test. And you keep true to that. You hold true to that. You might get your twin flame. I forgot. I saw this card here on, on the other side. Now, this could go one or you know, two ways, but this is usually is like depicted as two that are bound together. Obsession, you know? I'm going to ask to clarify that real quick. Because you guys can clarify that real quick. I'm going to throw the extra line here for you, Aquarius. All right. Knowledge. With justice, so knowledge is coming in in the near future. <laughs> oh, that's cool. So you guys aren't going to give it to me now. Uh, you know, even I am not privy, privy to much information. They just dropped a life card. Okay, that's life, huh? That's life. Is that what you're going to say? <laughs> Yo, our spirits are funny. Now it's only get so far. Do we have any healing? I see a new leaf. Um, a leaf fell on the hill with the angels. Sound like, yeah, okay. I was going to call it early. We're not going to leave it there. Healing with the angels. Let's see what the union needs for healing. Wow. Okay. Where are we going with this? Okay. Blessings. So your person has blessings coming. That's that's great. They're emerging. When they emerge, they have blessings and there's a breakthrough. Love it. Up here for you. They say nature, you know, that's that's the mission. Because we did our work. That's why there's not a whole bunch on our side. We did the work in the past. We did the work for the union. We've been restricted by our twin flame. But justice is coming. And we just need to stay true to nature. Just like them hawks we saw or I saw <laughs> flying by. That's where we find our peace. That's why we, where we find our resilience. And like I said, we're basically sitting at, at the freaking, on the side of the ocean or along the riverbank with our hands up, being held up. But eventually you gotta get going because we do need sustainability. For them, it looks like they have some studying required. All right, that could be regarding, do you want to tell me? Hmm. Oh, recognizing you 
interesting and the restrictions that are a work in progress. Oh, and re reconciliation, well, that's, I'm kind of late. Oh, they tack on the twin flame connection. They need to study twin flame. I've been telling my twin flame, if you would just, just look it up, you don't have to believe in it. But then maybe you want me to call me some stupid thing like psycho or something. But really, I just need that self-projection. I don't think, I think we're all a little cray-cray. We can't be, but nobody over here is just psycho. Okay, do you want to clarify anything else? We got the moonology. Here we go. And I'm going to leave it at that. Anything else from this deck? It says a win-win uh, is in the forecast in the union. So, where is this going? Uh, it's time to take action. Otherwise, there's going to be a tower. So, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, being on your side, I'm going to be like, hey, that's just in self honor. It, with this four of pinnacles, it's like, it's, you know, holding on. It could be grief. It could be holding on. Um, I'm going to have to ask them to clarify that. It's to not. Saying you got to take action and release um, this individual in the future. Um, unless ideas are concrete. Wow, okay. That's, I mean, basically what I'm doing right now. They need to meditate, contemplate, and study. Now, this is future, things can change, you know? But like I said, self-honor first, if they don't get with it, justice is right across from that on both of you guys' sides. Where are we going? Oh, man. The person doesn't think they're good enough. Maybe they haven't been. But if they're going through a death and transformation, who knows? But this is all next to the Wheel of Fortune. Where is this going? A new start is coming for you, Aquarius. So, but they're not going to tell you everything. It's probably based on your person as the wheel turns. So, Really, the ball in, in many ways is in, in their court as far as the union. However, when the will turns, it does show that there is a win-win here. And they did pull the twin flame card up to bring in all of this right into the union. Are we going to let it rest there? <laughs> all right. Where, where are we going? Because I'm, I'm getting tapped. So all right. Yeah, I'm sure your person being like, put you through the ringer. Oh, prepare for, uh, yeah, Capricorn, which is prepared. Prepare for new start is coming. So, <laughs> how to prepare? Nature, 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 self-honor. Anything else that we need to say here? Yes, for, the, for your person. Oof, blessing. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're saying your person's emerging. So, yes, um, oh, they have a balance. They, in the past, they had some sort of balancing act going on. Yeah, with the old wounds or whatnot. But now, where are we at with that? Oh, they're growing is what it says. It first landed on here. So they're growing through um, releasing their, their self-imprisonment. So they're stepping out of the Eight of Swords, uh, which is probably why the Nine of Swords uh, came up. But the Nine of Swords, you know, that is completion. Anything else that we want to say here? Hmm. And I love you guys. Bang, Gina. So Eight of Cups in reverse, they're not walking away from the union in the past. They just diverted way over here and somehow are circling back. <laughs> Drop the mic. <laughs> And is this supposed to be in reverse as I saw? What side is this going on? 
So it looks like they, they manifested this in the past and it came, they didn't realize it was a blessing. Is that what that, yeah. They didn't realize it was a blessing. And then they started utilizing their tools in all the wrong way, because if you are intuitive, they are intuitive. If you're powerful, they're powerful. So they got the magician in reverse. So they're using their tools all wrong. And there's prices to pay for that. And that's why you're waiting. So while you're waiting so long, they have to either just leave the relationship altogether, or finally the universe just brings you somebody else that's on your frequency. Someone uh, once told me that you can either meet them where they're at, or they can meet you where you're at. What do you want to do, right? <laughs> well, if I know I'm on a flourishing frequency, even though I got nothing in my pocket, nothing in the bank but a few cents, but I know if I stay true to self-honor, I will have, and they're not there, that's not a matchup. You're not on the same frequency. But just like you get awakened spiritually, they will too in their own way. So over here on your side, it looks like the fool, the emperor, who, those are upright. The eight of pentacles in reverse, Princess of Cups in reverse, Empress in reverse, conflict with Five of Wands, Queen of Swords right in reverse, King of Cups. I'll get to those in a minute. Wow, so this is going way longer than I, I thought. And it makes sense, ooh, because it's been a doozy. I don't know. Okay, so whose energy is the King of Cups? Are we starting with activation or are we starting with King of Cups? Okay, so King of Cups, right? Their energy. Who's the Queen of Swords? Who's the Queen of Swords? Okay. So, okay. Who's the Queen of Swords in reverse? Is that what? Okay. Got it. So, yeah, they probably came in and chopped your freaking head off with a bunch of mess. Not, not wearing their emotions on their sleeve. Hiding their emotions even though they were there bringing in conflict with this five of wands for no reason, you know, fighting you for what? Fighting you for what? Because they didn't want to step into their emotional bank, their vulnerability, but they want you to. So that put them looking like, am I guessing right? The Empress uh, in reverse, yes. Not nurturing, not giving. An Empress, yeah, but I don't want, who, who wants to be an empress in reverse? Man, I'd rather be a page, you know? At least there's some excitement about that. I mean, this is somebody that, that they know what to do and they're not doing nothing with it. Princess of Cups, so it's like, they, wow, oh, they were scared of intimacy. Hmm. And therefore, it wasn't a work in progress. The intimacy like blocked it. Now who's the emperor in this? But the emperor gets activated. Queen of Cups, okay, interesting. Oh, that's interesting because it was touching this devil card now. I gotta share this with you. I know this is taking long, but this is important. Um, as an experiment with this whole twin flame journey, what I did was I said, well, we're still connecting. I'm gonna stop smoking. I, it's probably better for me. I realized I had chronic laryngitis and I really want to get to my singing. And I couldn't really read that much either, getting tapped energetically because I was supposed to be resting, receiving four of swords. Um, but one way or another, I said, okay, if we're that connected and I can feel her, what if I stop? I stop with, you know, basically medicating all this crazy stuff that as us empaths go through, transmuting everybody's energy and um, basically diffusing bombs all day and then bringing sunshine, you know? Um, I said, I'm gonna put that on hold and hopefully that kicks her habits. And so I, I kind of feel like what they're telling me, maybe I'm wrong, but maybe it's for you, you know, that that activated their, uh, so the, the devil and obsessions that could also be, you know, vices, you know, could be you, could, you could be like a drug to them, you know, 
but one way or another, I'm feeling like maybe you pull back on your your vices and that helped activate the emperor in them. Would that be correct, Spirit? Yes, it's a cycle, it's still happening. Oh, okay, come over here. The tower that's coming in. So, oh, okay, so not a success. Okay, we want to understand. It will be. Okay, it's a cycle. So this tower, you're in the middle of a, a, a tower right now with the Six of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands, okay? Which is passionate new beginning. It's coming, but it's just not successful yet. So I think I am gonna freaking leave it there. What we do know is that you have the Ace of Wands also that popped up here. Remember, it didn't burn. <laughs> they still hope. Hope with your person meditating and contemplating. They need to kick their vices so they can get the downloads that you get so they can see more clearly and be connected with the universe as you are. Um, until they do that, their own path is not gonna be clear. That's probably why you, you have found so much patience in them or you're probably patient, period. But um, if that's really what you want, you need to make that decision. You need to hold to it. Um, but if it is conflicting with your self-honor, you need to push forward with your self-honor. You can hold patience and a space for them, you know, to be kind if you see them. But, you know, if they're abusive in any way and uh, are, are making those changes and growing, man, kick them to the curb because you will not get your blessings, okay? Okay, peace and love. <laughs> Talk to you soon.